When you're working with an extremely tight renovation budget, there is zero room for error. Is that a down power line? No way. So we are back finally at the Goodman house. Uh, we got all of the electrical taken care of. All of that is good to go and we are ready to put this baby on the market. So let's go inside. I haven't even seen it yet and we'll see what it looks like. Really excited to see what it looks like. And finally. Wow. This looks great. Wow, this kitchen. Look at this kitchen. Every detail matters because if you screw up and you have to redo something or you have to fix what you did, then that's going to add up and that's just gonna kill your profit. This house looks incredible. Uh, I didn't even know that there was hardwood floors underneath here, so I'm so glad that we went ahead and redid these. And uh, let's check out the rest of the house. So we've got two bedrooms up here. All we did is we, we did a huge trash out. We added uh, new carpet, paint, fixtures, flooring, uh, everything. And then here in the bathroom, what we were able to do is uh, we were able to save the tub, save the tile. And then all we, we added a new vanity, a, a new flooring, paint, fixtures, really brighten the place up. So uh, it's a great looking bathroom now. And then here, same thing with the bedrooms. Uh, all we did was we just added carpet and we uh, did a paint scheme and added, added some new fixtures. Kitchen, my favorite part of the entire house, which any house, it's my favorite part. So Since we're on a tight budget for this project, you also have to get creative in the house to keep some existing elements of the house so that you don't have to spend the time and the money and the material costs to fix it or improve it. So what we were able to do here is we saved the countertops, all right? So uh, this was a really tight budget for us. So what we did is that these are the original countertops and all we did is we laminated them, uh, did a, a cool um, paint scheme on here and just made, it look made them look really nice. One way that you can save renovation costs is on countertops. If the countertops are already in good shape, you need to find a cab or a countertop resurfacer that will make them look like the real thing like a quartz or a marble or a granite and that's what we did cabinets we saved we just painted those as well added some new hardware uh new tile backsplash new appliances the floor was in decent condition and again since this was such a tight budget all we had to do was clean it up uh and there was really nothing wrong with it so we just ended up saving it we replaced the sliding back door back here and then what we did in the backyard was created a very wide open green area. The main thing we did back here was just trash everything out. So you can see exactly how much uh, land is back here. This, this house is sitting on almost an acre. So a family's gonna come in here and they're gonna have a, basically a blank canvas to do whatever they want with it. All right, down in the basement. Here we go. So down here, again, same thing. Uh, we were able to save the floor. It was in pretty good condition, just a little dated. It's not our normal remodel like we normally do. And we were able to save the tub and the tile that was already there. All we did is just add a glossy paint to it. Vanity is still the same. So we basically just, we did, a, we did a really nice cleanup job, a clean and paint job. And then over here is what we did is we added a non-conforming third bedroom. There is a certain level of expectation that the house is going to be fully turnkey. It's going to be fully remodeled because we market it as such. If there is a flex space in the house that can be used for different purposes, like a home office or an additional bedroom or a different additional living space, we try to give them that feedback through our real estate agent that, hey, you could use this space for this purpose or this purpose. So this was just an open space. We added a couple doors. So this is technically the master now and it's already got a closet. So the reason it's non-conforming is that it doesn't have an egress window. This is a really good uh, space, whether it's a living area or somebody wants to make it a bedroom, but we're advertising it as a bedroom. We're helping the buyers envision what it could be instead of what it is because we found that a lot of buyers need a lot of handholding when it comes to envisioning the space and seeing 
the potential that it has because a lot of them just, they don't have that mindset. They see it for exactly what it is. We add a separate door to close off the space at a closet and we call it a bedroom. And now all of a sudden we've got three bedrooms. All right, so coming out here from the basement, we've got wide open parking, enough to fit at least five or six cars out here. You've got the outdoor shed to keep all your lawn uh, equipment out here. There's an added garage over here that we did a uh, new roof on. And then again, you can see the entire back space, green space, all back here for somebody to kind of create and do what they want with it. All right, we are officially live on the market today. Uh, we're going out on a sale price of $270,000. We spent about $30,000 in renovation budget and we bought it for $202 thousand dollars so after closing costs and everything we stand to make a profit of about twenty five thousand dollars so let's go find another house to put see those those numbers i just gave you i mean that's why that's why i do this that's why anybody can do this job they can do this business um but 99 percent of the people will just watch it they won't take action and they'll just keep on living so